what we'll be doing in today's tutorial is trying to create a final image that looks something like this. So what we're looking at here is a flat representation of the Milky Way stretching roughly 180 degrees across the sky. And even with the widest lenses that we have, it's not possible to capture the entire Milky Way in one shot. So you have to do it shooting multiple images and then combining them in a panorama. Just for reference, if I have a look at this individual image, this is shot with a very wide angle lens. This is a 14 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. And you can see that we have the uh, kind of galactic core here of the Milky Way with all the clouds and dust. And that one frame there is just this part of the image. And I'm just going to go through exactly how we achieve this. So first off, what you have to do is actually shoot your images. And I'm here in Adobe Bridge and I have my raw files. You can see they look very different from the finished product in terms of detail and color. And we'll come on to that a little bit later. I shot beginning with this frame here. I then moved the camera to the left, overlapping roughly by a third. And you'll see that as we move left, we then start to see the Milky Way curving across the sky. And this particular frame here, you can just see it at the top of the frame. So I actually tilted my camera up slightly so I could actually get more of the Milky Way and less of the, the ground here. And kept panning the camera to the left. And in this particular image coming up here, uh, a car went past, there was a road uh, not that far away and you can see lit up the sh trees. So I shot another image. And then once I'd got my panorama from all the way right across the sky, all the way to the southern tip of the Milky Way going into the mountains over here, I then put my camera on a timer, ran around and got a self-portrait of me on a rock here as well, just so I could do two different versions of this panorama. I could do one with my, myself in it and one with the weather station and then I could decide when I got back. So in order to combine these images, we're going to first work in Camera Raw. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the images here in Bridge that I want to take into Camera Raw. So I'm on a Mac here, so I'm just using a command click to select the images that I want. And I know that I don't want this one here because it has the car headlights. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to select all the other images. And you can see there that I have seven images here that make up my panorama. So if I click on those and then go to open in Camera Raw, we can see that down the left hand side in the film strip, we have all of those images. Now, before I go ahead and combine them, what I want to do is just a few corrections on all of those images. So if I shift, select all of them, and then if I go into my lens correction module in Camera Raw, and I'm just gonna tick the two boxes. First one, remove chromatic aberration. Uh, and then most importantly, enable profile corrections. If you don't tick this, you tend to get weird kind of artifacting and uh, funny things happening and it doesn't create a, a particularly accurate panorama. So we wanna select that. And then because this was shot with a manual lens, it's not picking it up. So I just need to go ahead and this was shot with a Samyang 14 millimeter F 2.8 lens. Now those prof that profile has been applied to all of those images and so what I can now do is click on the film strip, double click on the Mac, right click if you're on a PC and then select the merge to panorama option. Now Camera Raw is going to try and combine these images and it's going to take a little while. These are all sort of 25 megabyte raw images so just be patient, take a little while. And after a while, you should get a panorama merge preview. Now, okay, we can start to see the Milky Way here, but the image is kind of looking heavily cropped. So what I need to do here is go ahead and use this boundary warp. And you can see as I move this slider, it's gonna start to bring the image more into that panoramic image that we're looking for with all of the Milky Way, the 180 degrees across the sky within the image. Generally, the spherical one will work best. You can go ahead and select the other options, but you can see this is this is literally like the, the image wrapped around a cylinder, like a Coke can, if you will. And so it's very top to bottom and not kind of the image that we're, we're looking for in this particular uh, instance. So let's stick with spherical and we wanna keep that boundary warp 
pretty much all the way to 100 to get the maximum amount of information within this image. Now what I could have done is also shot extra frames to the right and left to get a bit more uh, information in, but I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking for the moment. So I can go ahead and click Merge now. It's gonna ask me to save this. So I'm just gonna name this and I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now what Adobe Camera Raw has done is created a DNG file, so a digital negative file. Now you can see here the information at the bottom tells you this about this new image that's been created and it's six and a half thousand pixels by 4,600 pixels. So we're looking at around a 30 megapixel image. Now we can go in and start to make our local adjustments to this file here and clean it up a little bit in Camera Raw before we go into Photoshop. So we can see that the, the color temperature here is, is pretty off. It's very uh, yellow, very warm. So we wanna neutralize that a bit and bring back some of the more sort of natural night sky here. So I'm gonna move the slider over to the blue side and we can start to see some nice information coming out here and some nice colors in the Milky Way already. Probably just move the magenta slider up and this is obviously all to taste i'm just going to do a very quick few adjustments in the adobe camera raw you'll obviously want to spend some time finessing this and getting it the way that you want your image to look um, i'll probably just bring the exposure down a little bit and bring my contrast up to darken the dark areas of the image and bring up some of the the light in the milky way and then we can just have a quick play with our shadows and uh, highlight sliders. Something like that, just a very quick adjustment. One adjustment that's actually very powerful within Camera Raw and works quite effectively on Milky Way is the Dehaze slider, which is found in the Effects tab. And if we just start to pull this up, we'll start to get some nice information in the Milky Way here. I think I'm just going to blue in the image up slightly. Okay, so we can see there with just a, a few quick adjustments in Adobe Camera Raw, we've already got the image looking uh, part of the way there. We can just have a quick look at the before and after. And we can see there that they're very washed out over uh, yellowed, a uh, very warm color temperature, um, non sort of natural looking night sky there before and already we've started to bring out some of the more natural colors some of the interesting detail here within the milky way it's about ready to then take into photoshop for further adjustments so hopefully this has been useful any comments please drop them below if the video has been useful please hit the like button and subscribe for more great content i'll see you next time thanks very much